Welcome to the Stray Tech tutorial presented by SD Group. Today we're covering wireless roaming. Wireless roaming is used in cases where a user needs to be able to move between access points without their connection dropping for authentication. The two best examples of this are for VoIP calls and media streaming throughout a large home or office. A written tutorial is available on the Draytech website in the application notes section under the support menu option. Let's begin. In order to use wireless roaming, a radio server needs to be configured on the LAN. All Vigor APs feature built-in radio servers, but today we're going to use the radio server built into the Vigor router. First we log into our Draytech router. The default username and password are admin and admin. Then we're presented with the dashboard. To configure the radius server, head over to applications and radius. Since we're enabling the internal radius, select that tab, click enable and enter the authentication port. By default, that port is 1812. Under the ac client access list, enable each access point we'll enter a shared secret per ap in our case we'll just make this roam 123 then enter the ip address of the access point in our case it's that and your lands ip mask once we hit ok we'll be asked to reboot the router select ok to do that once the router reboots, we can then start configuring a user account for Radius Authentication. To do that, we go over to User Management and then User Profile. By default, all Vigor routers come with two built-in users. We select the next available profile, in our case that's number 3. Enable the account and then set a username and password. This username and password will need to be put into each device that attempts to connect to the Wi-Fi network. We'll call this user roaming user, but it can be any name that you would like. We then input a password. We'll make this password roam1234, but again, it can be any password that you would like. We now set the idle timeout to zero so that the user isn't disconnected and the max user login to zero so that all users on the Wi-Fi network can use this account. The last option to select is the checkbox for radius authentication under internal services. Then press OK. Now that we've set up our radius server and configured a user for radius authentication, we can configure our Wi-Fi APs. All APs will need to have the same Wi-Fi and security settings, so I recommend using Central AP Management for this purpose. Head down to Central AP Management, and we can view all the APs on the LAN by selecting Status. Here we can see that we have a Viga AP900 on our LAN, and in order to configure a WLAN profile to apply to all APs on the LAN, we can go down to WLAN Profile. To configure the profile, we select an empty profile and then click edit. Give the profile a friendly name, in our case we'll call it roaming profile. Then input the admin credentials for the APs, by default this is admin and admin. You can then enable the radios that you would like to use, we're going to use the 2.4G band. Leave the operation mode as AP. Then set your Wi-Fi modes and settings as required, such as WMM and the TX power. We then click Next and we're presented with the 2.4G radio config. Enter a friendly SSID, in our case we're going to call it Draytech Roaming. And then we need to configure the security settings. For Wi-Fi roaming, this has to always be WPA2. 802.1x. Then we need to set up the radius server. 
when we click on the radio server link we're presented with a pop-up box make sure that external server is selected since relative to the APs the radio server is external on the Vega router input the IP address of the radio server in this case it's going to be the IP of the Vega router then input the port that you configured when you set up the radio server in the Vega router in our case that was 1812 then input the shared secret as configured in the radio server config on the Vega router we made that roam123 then press OK now continuing with the WLAN profile config we can set access control and bandwidth limits as necessary and then click next since we aren't using the 5 GHz band in our tutorial here we just click finish we can now apply our new WLAN profile to all the wireless access points on the network to do that select the row and profile you would like click apply to device and here we select the existing devices ie access points that are on our LAN select all the APs that you would like to apply the stubbly LAN profile to and then press OK after a short period all of the APs selected under apply to device in the previous step will then display the Wi-Fi settings as per the WLAN profile selected. In order to check that, we head up to status under central AP management, and there we can see that the SSID for the 2.4 gig band has changed to Draytech roaming. The last step of the config is to log into the access point and enable wireless roaming. We do that through the central AP management status page where we can click on the IP address and be taken to the Vigor AP configuration page. Enable wireless roaming for each wireless band. In our case we're going to go to 2.4 GHz wireless LAN and then roaming and check the box to enable fast roaming. With the configuration complete, we can now connect to our Wi-Fi network on all our devices. The network name will be the SSID as selected in the WLAN profile. When we click to connect, we'll be given the option of in inputting a username and password. This username and password will be the ones that we configured in the Vigor router user management. In our case, that was username roaming user and password 1234. We'll now see that as we move between access points that the authentication happens immediately and our media and VoIP calls don't drop while streaming. Thank you for watching this Draytech tutorial presented by SD Group.